I'm David from WP Show, uh, and in this quick guide, I'm just going to walk you through turning on Photon, the photo CDN from Jetpack, uh, which is the WordPress.com plugin for WordPress sites, and um, explain a little bit why you would want to do that. Um, this is kind of in response to this article that our friend Alex Denning wrote for WP Shout this week called Using CDNs to Unlock a Big WordPress Speed Boost. Definitely check that article out if you want more details about what CDNs are and how Photon fits into the, fits into the overall mix. The obvious question is, what's a CDN? Why would I want one? Uh, basically, let's say that our server is in Dallas, Texas. Let's say that I'm a user in Dallas, Texas. Well, then everything is really fast for me. I'm just making a connection to a server that's very local to me. And then that, you know, that remains true even like in New York or in California. Dallas is a pretty common place to put servers for exactly that reason. But if you're in India or Australia or China or, you know, Sweden, Dallas is pretty far away. And so the limitations of physics mean that you have to exchange all of these bytes at the speed of light over a lot of copper wire and fiber optics. And so that gets kind of slow, not slow in an absolute geologic time sense, of course, but in a local uh, internet sense. So what happens right now by default on a WordPress site is that your site, your images are all served from the same place as everything else. So everything is at wpshout.com there, including that image. So what Photon does is it lets you offload your images to wordpress.com itself, which itself has a CDN to let people in India connect to their India server and serve the images from just that India server rather than from yours. Uh, so to turn that on, you go to Jetpack settings uh, in your left sidebar. I'm assuming you've already got Jetpack turned on. If not, there are already plenty of tutorials about how to turn on Jetpack. Photon is in appearance. And it's the second one right now as I record this video. So you go and tap that on. It says activating. Photon Photon has been activated. I go back to the front of my site and visually it should look the same. And indeed it does. Nothing looks at all different about this. But if I inspect element on this image I looked at earlier, we'll notice that the URL has changed. It's gone from wpshout.com slash all the details of our, our media storage strategy and now it says WP, i2.wp.com. That is essentially the image being offloaded to the wordpress.com infrastructure where they already have a CDN set up. And the details of CDNs are far beyond anyone's need to understand, but you just need to know that like in Australia, this will feel a fair amount faster than the round trips to a Dallas server. So that's what a CDN gives you, and that is how you turn Photon on for Jetpack. Jetpack's Photon is only a CDN for images. It does not move other static resources or anything else to a CDN. But for a lot of WordPress sites, especially photo heavy ones, that's a huge win uh, and can make the server feel a lot faster, especially to people pretty remote from your data center. So that is Photon and why you would use it and how you turn it on.